Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie, and this is Jailbreak. For those of you with a keen eye, you may have noticed that in my backpack there was something else that's usually not there. And that's because this just landed today. And I had to get out to the woods to give this a try. And it's ironic because I just put a video out yesterday talking about portable survival saws. Today we're gonna to take a look at three very common, very good pocket or portable survival saws. We're gonna start with the pocket boy. We're gonna work our way to the Baco. And then we're gonna finish it up with the Sven saw. Well, it looks like I'm having to do this all over again. And for those that are curious what I'm always looking at, I'm surrounded by incredibly tall pine trees. It's about 45 minutes till dark, and I'm a huge fan of owls. So I'm always watching. Any movement gets me looking. So that, there's, there's that. At any rate, I just got a package from Bone Valley Company. Grab some popcorn. Grab a beer, sit back, relax, and check this out. So while looking for a new fixed handled survival knife, I came across a company called Bone Valley Company. I had never heard of them before. They had knives that were available that came with custom handmade leather sheaths with a ferroseum rod built right in. And all the handles were handcrafted, made from exotic woods like deadwood, cocobola, etc. Once I contacted these people, they were nice enough to not only send me a free hat, a fleece hat, some stickers, but they sent me this beautifully made Bone Valley Woodsman Saw that's totally collapsible and sets up pretty, I mean, this is it. This is it. Incredible wood. I believe this is either maple or walnut. I do not know, but I'll find out. But they sell these things for under a hundred bucks and I'm going to show you how quickly this sets up and then I'm going to show you how well this works. So you simply take it out of the bag. You'll notice some string hanging off of it. Some of you guys might know what that's called. I do not. I'm not going to lie. Stainless steel hardware on either end and then you simply fold it open exposing the incredibly gnarly blade. Are you seeing that? That is serious. You'll notice inside there's notches on either side. You simply slide that in there. And you simply slide that in there. And you're starting to see what this is doing. And then I've never done this, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. We'll see it all together. You continue to spin this until it pulls the top of the frame in. I've never handled one of these in my life. This is a first time. You keep spinning this. It pulls in on the top. And that's it, there's your saw. Notice how I held this directly in front of my face so that if it got loose, it would have hit me in the face. And that's how I get so damaged, okay? 52 years old, I still make mistakes. I was married once. At any rate, 
Let's see how well this thing actually works, shall we? Okay, I've still got the same wood from yesterday, which is kind of strange, but, or not, I don't know. But let's see if I'm even doing this right. Wow, I've never used or seen one of these in my life. The closest I've seen is the Sven saw. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's made of hardwood. You can get extra blades for it. But I mean, this thing packs down. Granted, it's a little longer than the Sven saw. I had to keep this on the outside of my pack but it's a day pack. My regular backpack, I could fit this inside easily, but this weighs, I'm gonna say about as much as the Sven saw, which is all aluminum. This is amazing. I'm totally blown away by this and how quickly and how fast it got to my house, how well it was packaged, everything about it. Unbelievable, completely and totally 100% made in America with American made materials. There are very few companies that can say that, okay? That's just a fact. I'm 52 years old, I try to buy made in America and it's expensive, so I'll go without until I can afford it. Most things are designed in America, sewn in America, assembled in America. This was harvested, crafted, made in America, shipped in America. Uh, you cannot beat that with a stick, no pun intended. And remember, I, this, is, this will be my second time using one of these saws. That is pretty amazing. That is a four or five inch log. It's still live and it's wet. And this just went right through it beautifully. And the upside of this, I mean, the Sven saw that I showed you yesterday or last week, depends when you're watching this video, is also made in America, but this was handcrafted. Handcrafted. A guy took this and made this with his own two hands. Let me show you how small this breaks down. This is all something easily repaired when you're on the trail because everyone's got 550 cord on them one way or the other. If you don't, you're effing up. You take the tension off the cord, you pull the middle section out, you fold it down. And there it is. A beautiful piece of Americana in your hand goes right into the really nice canvas case that he gives you with the drawstring, old school. Viola, there it is. Now, if you wanna pick any of these items up for yourself, I'll leave links to the website below. I have no affiliation with this company other than the fact that I really appreciate people that still put the time and energy into making amazing gear in the United States. Not too many places do it anymore. That's just a fact. These guys make sick little possible pouches. It comes with a tin. It's all handmade, hand sewn, etc. They make ferrocium rods and they make knives and buck saws and they are badass at any rate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below and I will return the favor.